to the channel. Yeah. I got me some vote. I got me some vote. This is Pablo Crow. I got me some vote. I got me some vote. You should get you some vote. Fill up your bags, back up the truck, back up the boat. Fill up your bags, back up the truck, back up the boat. I got me some vote. It's time to go. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Pablo Crow. I have a quick video for you guys about a new token that I just found. This thing launched four hours ago. And look at all these zeros, man. Look at all those zeros. Boom, 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 boom. I know it had a huge run up and a quick dump. I found this one four hours ago. Well, no, I didn't find it four hours ago. I just barely found it literally like an hour ago. But this thing, yeah, there was a guy that was talking so much trash on the Telegram and He's like, I'm selling it all. He sold th like three Ethereums and within five minutes, that shit was bought back. So, where is he? He's down here somewhere, right here in the red. All right, there, he, there, there he is selling his 3.4 Ethereums, right? And it wasn't that long before, boom, look at all this vice came in and just replaced the spot. We're so close to burn a zero. So close, guys, so freaking close. To burn us here. Look at that. People took profits and, and we're going back up. <laughs> Ask me right now why we have so much faith in this token, man. It's crazy. I'm going to break it down to you guys. Um, dude, it's all about the community. It really is. Like, the community has gotten together. We have built the most powerful team I have ever seen. There was a lot of sales. <laughs> Only the dumb ones sold. I'll tell you that. <laughs> the rest of us are like, no. But I was just, I was, I had seen your video, Pablo, on uh, on uh, this on this token. So I I took a look at it, and um, when I took a look at it, I, yeah, that's when I seen it all. The chart was like, it looked like a massacre. I was like, oh man, is this gonna survive? <laughs> <laughs> I go check it out. And there's a freaking bloodbath in there, man. The developer's not on the boys' call. He's not answering. No, no. Another scam. Another pump and dump. Another rug pool. And I'm right there watching all that. Like, holy crap, Is a freaking bloodbath. Do I really want to get involved with this? So what do I do? I buy the token. <laughs> I yeah, buy let's the just, token. Let's just say that power is a humble well. Let's just say that. He's very humble, but man is... His wallet's not. Let's just say that. <laughs> hey, you're giving me, you're giving me way too much credit. You put me on the spot, Pablo. Hey, man. Hey, so man. You know? The migration has to happen. It has to happen. In order for us to get to the next level, it has to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, don't be scared of change. Embrace it. Learn from it. Become become a better yeah with volt the name like when i first got involved with volt it came out as a disney doll character like the the, the volt dog right got another little boy what's your name chris chris what did you get today bunch of toys huh yeah they gave you like two minutes to get toys yeah and you fill up the whole cart yeah is that exciting yeah yeah you're gonna go home and you're gonna have a great christmas today okay yeah. but you gotta do one thing for me you gotta be really, really good and listen to your mom, okay? Thanks. All right, can you do that? And then you can open all the presents. All of them. How often do you do this at Walmart? Woo! really? It's the crow show. 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 Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Pablo Crow. Tuning in for the whole two years today. It's a, it's a beautiful day for Volt because there are so many projects, so many projects that came and gone in 2022. So many. There are so many projects that came and gone in 2023. And there's very few projects that are going into 2024 that survived the chaotic crypto market that we are a part of. 
Now, Volt will always have a special place in my heart, regardless what people think, what people want me want for me. Doesn't matter. I will always love what we did and what it's going to do. Because Volt is going into the bull run as a survivor, right? As a survivor of the worst bear market that has ever been in crypto history, ever. And it's going to have his... It's going to have his, his time, his chance, right? His chance to prove itself in the bull run. Can, can Volt become... That Shiva Inu that we always believe it could become. Can Volt be the dog that really sends it and puts the mean coin sector on top again? Can Volt be that dog? Because we just witnessed greatness recently in the last couple of months. Um, we witnessed Bunk show us. What needs to be done, right? We witness Bunk show us. And we're going to talk a little bit about that because Bunk actually stole the spotlight from Pepe. In all reality, nobody expected that. Nobody expected Bunk, not even me. Even though I knew the Solana team was involved, I still didn't buy the shit. I don't know why. I should have bought it because I, I, I said this a long time ago that the Solana team was behind Bunk. But they weren't saying nothing. And they put the dogs on top again. Going into the bull run, Bunk put the dogs on top again going into the bull run. So what happened is it gave Volt an opportunity to shine, right? It gave Volt an opportunity to become the mean coin it's supposed to be, right? To go and challenge the big dogs at the top. To be next to Shiv. To be next to Doge. To have that opportunity. And give people that, that Shiva run. That we all been waiting for. For the last two years. Right? Till today. I still wait patiently. For a listing on crypto.com. I still wait patiently. Two fucking years later. I'm still waiting. Yeah, dogs rule the meme sector. They do. They really, really do. Um, hey man, thank thank Rody for the super chat, brother. Appreciate it. I am I'm mean, I am having a little bit of a of a storm out here. A lot of rain, a lot of snow. Um but yeah, anyways, like I was saying, Volt's gonna have his time, it's gonna have his moment. It, it, it's gonna happen, right? Like like, there's nothing else that Pablo Crow can do to make that happen. It is now falling into the hands of the bull market upon us, right? Obviously, Voltoshi will have to, uh, you know, market Volt to that level, you know, so, so the masses can be attracted by it. Obviously, we're going to have to see tier one listings and all these things to, to cultivate the masses, right? Because the masses, they don't know anything outside of Coinbase. They don't know anything outside of Crypto.com. They don't know anything outside of a lot of these tier ones, right? So Voltoshi will have to market the project like never before. He would have to get these tier ones listing. And then you will have your moment, right? That's when the Volt Army is going to have their moment. Just like what happened with Bunk. You, saw, you guys saw what happened with Bunk. Bunk was down like 80, 95, 8, 98 percent. Who fucking knows, right? Bunk was so down. And all it took is a team to spark it. Just boom. Next thing you know, they started pumping the chart. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Next thing you know, you, you hear Coinbase is listing. Bunk. Everybody's like, oh, Coinbase. Right? Because Coinbase loves dog coins okay 
That's just what it is. We saw what we saw Coinbase reject Pepe. We saw that Coinbase likes dog tokens. And then they did the smart move. They got Coinbase before they got Binance, right? Second listing, boom, Binance. And you witness Bunk go from a 20, 30 million market cap, which is where Volt is today, all right? And you witness that team make those massive moves and send Bunk to over 2 billion in market cap like that in a matter of days now the the script is written right it is written pepe did the same thing they came out and they they even though i hate the fucking fraud even though i'm not a big fan of the frogs they still came out and they followed the steps of how to get it done and then Bunk witnessed what they did, and they turned around and did the same exact thing. And next to you know, Bunk's a two billion market cap. Now, Volt has the same capability, right? We witnessed, we witnessed for a year and a half. Okay, a year and a half, we witnessed Voltoshi um, have high taxes: thirteen percent in, thirteen percent out, thirteen percent transfer, and we witnessed him accumulate a lot of marketing money. Right, we witnessed this. So, when the time comes for Volt and Voltoshi release the cannon, the beast, the kraken, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? Volt's gonna have that that run that these projects, this mean coins had in the past. Obviously, he has to follow the 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 recipe from these other developers that already done it, right? Because in order to to grow like they grew, you have to follow the steps they took. And the steps are written right there in front of us. And you, me, myself, and everybody that supported Volt for the last couple of years will be really will, will be really grateful that we did. We'll be really bullish that we did, right? That we that we put our faith, that we trusted in this, in this, uh, in this token. That we bought the dip and 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 we bought the dip. And then the bull market comes. And we collect our reward. Dude, what? Then we collect the reward. You make your million. I make my multiple millions. Everybody makes fucking millions. And we have... That legendary run that we've been waiting for for the last two years. And tell you what, overall, I'm really bullish. I'm really, really, really excited about everything with Volt. Um, you guys know I don't work in the background anymore. I don't really know anything that's going on. Voltoshi and myself, we haven't really had that, that connection for a while. But I still respect him as a developer, and I still respect the mission. I still respect the idea. And I believe that the man's going to pull through. I believe that it will happen. I believe that the, the vol can go to 50 plus billion. I do believe that. I do believe that because we're going to have everything, <laughs> everything lined up, right? Everything lined up. The dogs are on top. Boom. Thank you, Bunk. Thank you for that. Thank you, Bunk. Thank you. Okay, first of all. So a big shout out to the bunk team in the community because you guys, we gotta we got we gotta admit it, man. If it wasn't for bunk right now, the dogs would be hurting. So thank you, bunk. First of all, the dogs are now on top again. Second of all, Voltoji has built enough marketing money to get it done. So there it is. Two, right? So the dogs on top. The developer got the funds. And three, you have the Volt Army, a community that knows how to fight a community that knows how to get it done how to go out to twitter how to go out to youtube how to go to all these social platforms and, and, and let people know what's coming so you have the marketing campaign through the community so those are the three key factors that are going to take bull to the top right and 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 i love it i think it's it's going to happen obviously I'm over here, you know, praising 
Boltoshi, that he will take care of it and he will do it. And the people that are, you know, helping Boltoshi, doing the leadership role and doing everything that they're supposed to. And I think they're going to come through. I really do. Because this, this bull run is going to be insane, right? This bull run is going to be so powerful, so, so massive, right? We're talking about a 10, 20 trillion market. A 10, 20 trillion market. Think about that. Last cycle, we only had 3 trillion. Last cycle. This cycle, we're talking about a 10 to 20 trillion we're talking about we, we're probably going to see a Bitcoin at a quarter million. Some of them are even saying 500K, which I think is really high. But I mean, I believe a quarter million. I believe that. My my, my personal target for Bitcoin is 215,000. That's my personal target. So if Bitcoin hits 215,000, 250,000, that's four times, I believe, what it was last cycle. What's four times last cycle? Three times four is 12. That's 12 trillion coming into the market. Now, if the dogs are on top, Boltoshi is prepared for the bull run, and the dogs are on top, what else you got left, right? What else you got left? You got tier one listings, a shitload of marketing, and put Volt where Volt's supposed to be as a top mean coin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do we got in the chat? What do we got? Voltoshi, thank you. And it's time to bring the three amigos back and run it up. Pablo was necessary to lead us to the trenches and the bear, Mikey. I give you your flowers, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And, you know, I did uh, I did my best I could for you to keep you, keep you in the spirit alive, right? Because at the end of the day, I came into Volt. At first, I came like everybody else, a fucking degen, trying to make a few bucks, right? Like everybody else. That's what I came into Volt. And little by little, I kind of got a little attached. Honestly, more attached than anybody should ever get attached to a cryptocurrency. It's actually a bad thing to get attached to anything related to investing. Investing should only be knowledge, data, and factors, right? Emotion should never be part of your investments. Now... As I got attached to Volt, as I got attached to education and, and teaching people the good in the market, the bad in the market, what to look for, you know, what to do, what not to do, you know, I became more of a of an emotion, right? And, and and I'm proud of that emotion because now I can sit back and I can jump on a Twitter space and and I can listen to a lot of these guys talking. And, and, I, and I see myself as a, as a reflection on the way they speak, the words they use, the, the way they talk about the market, the way they bring up, you know, Bitcoin, the way they talk about all these things. It's like a reflection of everything that I ever said, right? They talk about picking your champion and, and your champion, pick your champion, you know, and, and I spend years implanting all this information into the right people year after year just implanting this in people's head so when the time come when the bull market was here they would be ready they would be ready to go out and, and break a thousand liters break ten thousand liters to to accumulate those millions of people that you need to come to this project right it all started with one person and it duplicated and became a phenomenon now can't wait to see what happens. I can't wait to see how all this plays out. I'm like a, I'm like a proud father, right? Just sitting in the background, just, just watching the kids grow up, go out to college, start getting a license, driving. Or first they get a license, then they go to college, you know? Where we're like with my oldest kid recently turned 18 and and he went and got himself his own place, his own vehicle, his own job. And I'm over here like, yep, I taught this kid well. You know what I mean? And and that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, when this is all said and done, you know, I hope that my memory is actually forgotten. <laughs> I would like to disappear. That is my ultimate goal for crypto, to disappear, to actually go out, make my money, you know, set myself up for years and years to come for that generational wealth and to just banish so I can go back to the two years I gave up with my family, right? The two years I was away 
you know, uh, from the kids, the two years I was away from the wife, the two years that I dedicated a voice chat 24 seven, two years that I dedicated unlimited content for two years. Even when I was on vacation, I was still doing 24 seven content. The two years I dedicated of my life to this project, all that. So I can live the rest of my life. Like I really want to. So when my family, my mother, my mother-in-law, brothers, sisters, they need something, they can always come to me, right? Everybody has to pay a price. Everybody has to pay a price of what it's going to take for you to win. You have to pay a price. Everybody does. Everybody has to pay a price. What price are you willing to pay to get what you want to, to accomplish, right? And, and the thing is, I have always been an investor. I have always been a day trader. I have always been, you know, a person that buys quality over quantity. I've always been that guy. You know, I remember I remember when I uh, when I got the crow car for the very, very first time and how bullish I was on crow and how much I I love the platform. I love the token. I love Chris. And and and, and you know, and, and and crow changed my life. Crow crow. Crow set me free, right? I will never forget the roots, the roots and the hard times that came with Crow. I will never forget that. I will never forget that. Nobody will ever change that, right? And then, and then, you know, then you got Volt that came out and did his thing, right? And built a decentralized platform for people to be able to use it. Now, now, do I stop? Do I stop using Crow because I got Volt? No, I don't. It's not how it works. Anybody that thinks like that is it's actually a fucking idiot, right? You got to utilize the tools that are in the crypto space to better you, to benefit you, to help you. See what I'm saying? The tools are the tools. When you're building a house, you need tools. It doesn't matter how much knowledge you have. Without tools, your knowledge is useless. You need tools, right? Utilize what Vol has done for you. Utilize the tools that Vol has created for you. Utilize everything that you have learned in the last couple of years to make you a better person. We look at where Vol is today, sitting at a 28, 30 million market cap. That's nothing. That's nothing. Dogecoin hit 100 billion. Shiba Inu hit 50 billion. Bunk hit 2 billion. Shibnobi hit 2 billion. Saitama hit 7 billion billion all these legendary cryptos along the ways have gone to the understand what you got understand what's happening take advantage man and enjoy enjoy this two-year anniversary as the uh, it's the success it's a success. Maybe some of you guys came in six weeks ago. Maybe some of you guys came in six months ago. doesn't matter because you are at the floor, la floor level of Volt. You're at the floor. At the floor, okay? Just like I bought VeChain at a, at, a, at a penny. That was a floor for VeChain. Just like I bought Cardano at a 22 cents. That was a Volt, uh, a floor. For VeChain, Cardano. Just like I bought Ethereum at $900. Some of you guys got a better entry than I did, which was crazy. But I was pretty proud of the $900 entry for Ethereum. That was the floor. Now, do I believe that Ethereum's done? No. Ethereum is going to go to $10, 20 plus $1,000 this cycle. And anything that's wrapped on Ethereum will pump with it. That's just what it is. The more Ethereum you have in your liquidity, the more you're going to pump with Ethereum. That's just what it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's see what you got. Pablo, you got to reverse engineer the cost of living. How long you want to live in months and how much you need to each month total cost. Don't forget medical cost when you're old. <laughs> I love that. That's, that's pretty awesome. Pablo, I hope you will create Millionaire's Club so I can join it after the bull run. I am. I, I am still going to do that. That's definitely a thing that I will, that I will definitely, definitely, definitely do. 
<laughs> oh man it's okay pablo you were just passionate about volt it's true it's true i think uh i think volt is gonna gonna really pay off with all this dedication that we all put into it all the dedication that people today are putting into it right now you're at the ground floor this is the bottom of volt this is it this is the bottom right now from here on now anybody that buys today you're actually in a better position than people that bought a year ago so congratulations if you buy today because the people that bought a year ago are down on their investment while you come in and you buy the fucking floor and next thing you know you're you're way ahead some of you guys are going to get better entries today than i got myself along the ways right you're always going to get better entries so Take advantage. And before we continue on, man, before we continue on, make sure that you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You can always go back through the videos if you want to know more about the Volt history. Everything that I ever did for the project is recorded. It's here in the channel. It's here for you. Hopefully it helps you along the ways in your future decisions. OK, and let's get the party started before we jump on the next subject and kind of want to want to take a moment and enjoy raccoon life. never gonna get old that's never ever going to get old a big shout out to the volt dog man a big shout out to the volt dog the volt dog has really come a long ways a long long ways man god i remember i remember so much the beginning man i remember so much the beginning i remember when when volt launch um the website was actually down for like a week the website didn't even fucking work. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of the story of the beginning of the origins of Volt, right? For those that don't know, um, the first week, Volt launch, and the website did not work, right? The website didn't work. It didn't for like a week. First week, it was everybody was attacking Volt. Everybody was calling Volt a scam, a rug pull. A shit coin. I mean, God, we had so much hate. So much hate. Like, it was ridiculous amount of hate that you should never have to go through with a brand new project. Like, I just, I, I can't believe that people are like that, right? A brand new project comes out and they, they, like, they go out of their way to really attack it for no reason. Like, they're not holders. They're just attacking it for no reason. Right, Volt was being attacked by Shibnobi. People in Shibnobi was being attacked by, by fucking people in Saitama and so many other cryptos for no reason, right? And the website was down for like a week. So, so what happened is, at launch, at launch, uh, everybody was freaking the fuck out, right? Because the thing launched, we got hit by a bunch of bots. Next thing you know, the fucking stealth launch is down like 95, 98%. And everybody's crying in the chat, right? Where is the developer? Where is the developer? Why is he not here in the what? Open the voice chat. Talk to us. Make us feel comfortable. Please, developer. Because they just came from uh from Saitama, they just came from Shinobi. And you know, obviously Russ and Cliff were, you know, docs developers. And Para Inu too. The guy was like, "Oh, I'm a, 
I'm a war bad that I'm here to save crypto, right? And all these dox developers were a thing. Here comes Voltoshi, and he did not want to dox. He's like, fuck you guys. I'm not doxing nothing. Nothing. Zero. Not doxing. So everybody wanted to get the VC open. So Voltoshi opens the VC. Everybody flocks in there, man. Everybody flocks in there. And they just kept saying how Volt was a scam, that everybody lost their money, that they're down all this money, blah, 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 blah. I go on the VC. I'm just listening. I'm like paying attention. What are these guys even talking about? I mean, shit, the thing just launched. I mean, it could do something in the future. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it in the background and I'm just going to start supporting it. I'm going to start talking about it. And if, you know, if this is the last shit coin we buy going into the, into the bear market, then that's just what it is. Right. That's just what it is. So Everybody leaves the VC, man. Everybody fucking leaves the VC. And I stay there by myself. I stay there by myself in the VC. Everybody left. And and I'm just there. I'm there by my damn self. And here comes B Master for the first time ever, man. I, I meet B Master. B Master comes in here. Hey man, uh uh what's uh what's going on? <laughs> I was like, what's up, man? Uh what happened? Well, uh I'm just here, man. I'm here by myself. Uh everybody left. Uh, how you doing? I'm good, man. This is actually my second week in crypto. And I was like, well, I'll tell you what, B-Master. What do you say you and I together, you join forces, and we build the next Shiba Inu? What? So he stuck around, and another person came, and another person came. And by the time we had 5, 10 people in the VC, new people started coming in, right? And they would ask, like, hey, man, like, uh, where's the website? And I'd be like, uh, yeah, it's broken okay so the website is broken yeah yeah it's broken so what are we doing here guys <laughs> well you can uh you can actually go and uh check out the twitter the guy would go to twitter right check out the volt in your official twitter he go to twitter he comes back he's like dude there's like a hundred people following this page a hundred <laughs> i was like yeah so there is no website. There's hardly any following on Twitter. And there's like five of you in the voice chat. Why should I buy this? Right? We tell people all the fucking time. We tell people all the fucking time. <laughs> we tell people, look, we're building the next Shiba Inu, bro. We're building the next Shiba Inu. Right here on this VC, right here, right now, we're building the next Shiba Inu. The next ship, look at B-Master, the next ship. We're building the next ship, damn it. We're building the next ship. But what do you know about the developer? We don't know shit about the developer. The fucker doesn't even want to dox himself. So you have a non-dox dev. You have a busted-ass, broken-down website. And you have 100 followers on Twitter. And this is the next Shiba Inu. Yeah, exactly how you said it, brother. Congratulations, you are early. <laughs> so we told that story over and over and over and over and over and over again. And then next thing you know, Volt starts picking up momentum. Boom, here comes Benzinga. Volt has 4,000 holders within 10 days or some shit. Oh, marketing started. Marketing started. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boys, we're sending the next Shiba Inu. We're going to 50 billion market cap. Crypto.com is coming, right? Well, we pumped to about 15, 17 million on that first leg. We were all like, holy shit, man. We were at nothing. Now we're at 17 fucking million. Well, guess what? Everybody fucking cheated. it. Everybody. Everybody cheated. it. Everybody cheated. it. We went from 17 million down to a million. And I'm there in the VC by myself again. B Master and a few others. Fuck, man. We're down 1,700%. Yeah. I kind of, it's really, so, so now... Now, at least we have a website that works, so that's good. At least this time going around, we got a website that works. A fucking website that works. Thank you. 
for having a website that works, right? We finally have a website that fucking works. Power comes in the VC. What the fuck's going on in here? Where's the developer? Whoa, calm your eyes down, sir. What's with the fucking attitude? Look, man, I just came from this token called Luna Fox, and they took my $20,000. Look, man, first of all, calm your ass down, okay? Calm your ass down. Second of all, this is not Luna Fox. This is Volt. And Power's like, where's the Surtech? <laughs> Bro, we don't have no fucking Surtech. You don't have a dog stab, and you have no Surtech. Yep. All right, let me check out the website. He comes back. The fucking website looks like Volt the Disney dog. Well, yeah, that's what we are. Okay, so the fuck you guys going to do here? Well, we're going to build the next ship. We're going to build the next ship with the Volt dog that's a Disney character with a zero docs developer. And we're down 1,700% from all-time high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're building the next Shiba Inu, bro. Get on the horse, get you a bag, and let's go. So I don't know what I said that day exactly, but those were about the words. And here comes power. Fuck it. Drops 30K on the chart. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, relax. Holy shit, don't buy the whole fucking supply, brother. Well, you said we're going to build the next ship, so let's build the next ship. Woo! Well, that's how you get a trillion plus tokens. You just buy a fucking bunch of it. Yeah, so here comes all these people coming in. We're back at it again. Boom, Iman drops 20K, 30K, 40K. Crypto check comes, drop, boom, 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 boom. All these guys just start dropping 20Ks, 30Ks, 40Ks, 50Ks. Holy shit, guys, we're going. We're going to the top. We're going to the top. 50 billion. We're going to the top. Crypto.com is coming. Right? That's all we had. We didn't really have shit. We don't, we, we didn't have this. We didn't have shit. All we had was a dog. Okay. And we kept telling people, yeah, we're going to be the next shit. 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 That's all we ever said. We're going to be the next shit. We're going to be the next shit. Right? Little by little, we cultivated people. We put it all together. We're like, fuck yeah. We all believe. We all believe that Volt's going to be the next fucking Shiba Inu. Right? We finally get a utility. Fuck, we finally get a utility. Guess what, guys? You can now utilize your Volt tokens in a crypto store. The fuck is that? Well, you can utilize your Volt tokens and buy stuff online with Volt. That's a stupid utility. Well, that's what we got. All right, cool. We'll ride with it. Guys, we're a utility-based crypto now. All right, cool. Cool, cool. We're going to be the next Shiba Inu. We're going to be the next Shiba Inu. We're going to be the next Shiba Inu. We said that over and over and over again. Boom, next thing you know, we get a hot bill listing. Whoa, fuck, we got a centralized exchange, boys. Hot bit, hot bit. I want you to tell the world that we got hot bit. <laughs> <laughs> the most busted ass exchange, right? We got hot bit. Everybody's like telling everybody, hot bit, hot bit. We got hot bit. Bitmars coming. Bitmars coming. Right. And we cultivated it. We cultivated the audience. We fucking send it, send it full. You gotta, you gotta realize in order to in order to sell a meme coin, you have to be 100 percent hype. Like, like hype, like boo, 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 boo. Speaking of hype. Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment and enjoy intermission dance party. Man, who, who are we? It's like that. Carry on with the story, right? <laughs> Raccoon dance party will never get fucking old. Never. 
Raccoon Dance Party forever, man. But anyways, we're hype, 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 hype. The next Shiba Inu, the next Shiba Inu, we're going to Crypto.com, right? That was the story. That was the message. That's what we push. That's what we push. That's what we push. That's what we push. And then little by little, everybody started believing. Oh, shit. Now we're back at 20 million. Oh, back at 30 million. Back at 40 million. We're at 50 million market cap for the very, very first time. We we're like, oh my God, we're doing it, Voltoshi. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're going to crypto.com, right? Next to you know, Voltoshi tells me, Pablo, fuck, man. What? Don't what do you mean, fuck man? What 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 what, what does fuck man mean? The exchanges want us to lower our supply. Okay, cool. Go ahead, lower the supply. Why well, can't? Contracts re announced. Oh, fuck. So now what? Well, now we got to migrate. What the hell? Migrate? Like a migration? Like to another contract? You want to move tens of thousands of people to a new contract? Oh, my God. Here, here we go. Woo, fuck. Last time I saw this didn't work out. For the last 500 times I saw this didn't work out. All right, well, Toshi, I'm with you, man. I'll support you. I'll support you. <laughs> Guillermo, thank you for being the realest influencer of the space. Thank you for the introduction to Vol, teaching me us uh, what crypto is really about forever. Thank you. Hey, thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Right? So, so we're all like bullish as hell, and then fucking here comes the migration. Fucking hell, man. So now I got to tell the people that we're going to have a migration. That sounds exciting. Guys, we got this. Nobody has ever succeeded in the migration, but us, the dog coin, the meme coin, the, the Disney dog, we, we'll figure it out. We put it together. We'll make this shit happen, right? So here we are telling everybody about a migration again, right? Migration, guys, we're doing it. Uh, we're going to less supply. Okay, cool. Next thing you know, we go from 50 million down to like 12 million. From 50 million down to 12 million. At this point, I'm just like, fuck, man. Like, my, 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 my encouraging level is like, why the fuck am I even still here, man? Like, I'm already, I, I'm already rich, man. I just, I can just leave right now and not give a shit. Fuck these people. Fuck this community. They're a bunch of jeets. Like, why am I even, why, why am I even still here? I kept asking myself those questions over and over and over again like dude you're up like a thousand percent pablo just take your fucking money and leave like why aren't you just taking your money and leaving pablo like i, I kept asking myself these fucking questions over and over and over and over like fucking hell right so i call power i call yvonne i call a bunch of people and i'm like look guys we are we're so down man we are so fucking down I'm an RC Willie. I'm about to buy a fucking couch and I'm thinking about not buying a couch so I can uh, support the chat, the chart. But what do you want to do, Pablo? Well, let's cultivate the community. I want to I'll put, you know, 50K out of my own money, my own money to buy some more supply. Even though I already have fucking supply, I'll buy more. Power agree. Yvonne agreed. And all these people agreed. We came in the voice chat. We told everybody, hey, you guys. Go ahead and buy. You got two hours to buy. And then the team, us, the team and us, we'll buy, we'll buy after you guys. So here comes all these small investors, doom, 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 getting their entry. And here we go. Boom. Twenty K, thirty K, everything, right? One after another. And and we reversed the chart. We reversed it. And next thing you know, we're climbing to 30 million, 40 million, 50 million once again, and we migrate. And the migration was a fucking success. The Volt team did a fantastic job. The migration was clean. The whole world started talking about this migration. This migration. Nobody has ever achieved a, a clean migration. For the first time ever, a migration happened and it worked. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, Voltoshi, it actually worked. We actually migrated right. Next thing you know, we keep running and running and running and running and running. And I'm over here saying, we're going to crypto.com. Hype, 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 hype. Crypto.com. And we reach a quarter billion for the first time ever. And the following year after that, we 
dumped down to about 50, 60 million. We consolidated. We pumped to 80 million, consolidated down to 50 million, up to 80 million, down to 50 million. Here comes Volte Chain. We have another wonderful run, and I'm still in the background. We're going to crypto.com, right? We hit 150 million for the second time. And then we dip again. We got gate listing. We went over 100 million again, and we dip again. And this happened for the last couple of years. And in the last couple of years, along the way, we, um, we should so we never gave up. We never gave up on the dream that Volt would be the next Shiba Inu. We never gave up on the dream. The dream is still there. I still believe that Volt could become the next Shiba Inu. And the dream will continue. I will go through through this entire bull run believing that it's going to happen. That's not going to change. I believe that Voltoshi will eventually release Crypto.com like I always wanted him to. You know, I believe that Coinbase has a possibility of liking Volt just like they like Bunk. You know, Binance, well, it's Binance. You pay Binance, they'll list you whatever, right? But to get on Coinbase is a dream, right? The Coinbase approves of you. And if they approve a bunk, then there's a good possibility that the, the Volt could get listed on Coinbase, right? I don't know what Voltosha's strategy is. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't even know how he's going to do it. All I know is that we gave him enough taxes. We gave him enough time. And we continue to build the dream. So when the time came, he would put it all together. And here we are. Now... Before anything, let's uh, let's jump over Twitter and see if, you know, maybe something popped up today. I don't know. I haven't really paid much attention to what's going on with Volt today, but let's find out. It is the anniversary. They might be something we got we miss, right? Uh, there's all the hashtags that you guys can check out if you're new to Volt, Volta Chain, hashtag Volticar, Volti Island, SparkBot, and then the website, obviously. You know, here's a, a video you guys can watch with over half a million views on this video. Um, you guys can check out a lot of the stuff. Let's see. I'm not even sure that's an ad. Uh, a Twitter. So you guys speak Spanish. They did have a Twitter space earlier. And they did. Uh, you guys check out Musa. He he has this channel called uh, Volt Eating Road to a Dollar. Like Musa says, he's gonna he's gonna rival all the way to a dollar. What a G. Okay. And yieldification. This thing came in today. What is this? Volt has added collateral, blah, 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 platform for any holders to open up to 150x long or short future positions against BTC, USD, and several other trading pairs. So now I guess you can utilize their platform to do leveraging. Okay. One thing I do want to advise about leveraging, uh, leveraging is very, very risky, very, very quick. So don't start leveraging all your Volt tokens. Uh, start slow, please. Please start slow because I have seen a lot of people get wrecked on leveraging. So take your time. Don't rush it. Learn the system. Learn how it works and, and go that route, okay? I think Voltosh is going to be the biggest burn in history. I think that's what's happening. Very possible. Very, very possible. I found Volt three months after first migration and was never to crypt was new to crypto at the time. Oh, look at that. Nice. Well, tell you what, man, after everything that happened in the bear market, the fact that you were part of the Volt army instead of getting wrecked everywhere else. Hey, big shout out to you. At least you still have your tokens and the developer hasn't run away with your money. If Pablo gave up, I wouldn't have found Volt and Lightly came to an early and getting rug and bankrupt through the yeah desperation. Thank you, Pablo. If you only realize the impact of your dedication. Yep, I agree. I agree. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Evening, Pablo. Let's go, Volt Army. Thank you for everything. Hey, man. Thank you all. Thank you all. Bull Army. It's what we do, baby. It's what we do. It's what we do. You know, this this army, this army has been undefeated for two fucking years. Undefeated. Okay. Didn't matter what happened with Luna Crash, FTX, uh, Binance getting hacked, Pepper running to billions, Bunk running to billions. 
all these other tokens having their moment before Volt. Volt's still here doing his thing, okay? Volt's still here doing his thing. And before you know it, it's going to have his moment. It really is. And I wanted to come in here and kind of talk a little bit about Volt, tell you a little bit about back history, and tell you that there's a lot of people that went through a lot so you could have a chance of making money in the future. Okay? Whatever happens, whatever happens, whatever happens to me, whatever happens to you, you guys are the foundation of Volt. You guys are the foundation of the Volt Army. You guys are the foundation of this crypto right here, right? The time will come where you made your money, you took your profits, and nobody should ever criticize you for that, attack you or anything. You play your part. You did your 1,000x. You did your 500x. You did your 200x. You made money. You won. That's what it's all about, winning. Now, if you're a G that loses money on Bolt, you're just dumb, okay? We can't help you. People that are in... People that are in the bull army today should be able to make quite a bit of money, right? Whether it's a 50X, 100X, 1,000X, doesn't matter. Winning is winning. Now, if you're a 2X G, then you have no hope. You'll remain broke forever, okay? So have a bigger vision, right? And a lot of people always ask me, Pablo, how much volt should I have? How much volt should I have? And I always answer the same question. Well, how much is a lot of money to you? I know people that 100K, it changes their whole life for like a decade. And I know people that 100K is like a weekend, right? A weekend getaway, 100K. So it all depends based on your country, based on your, your own lifestyle, your finances, everything. If you can only afford a few hundred bucks a volt, hey, that's all you can afford. If you are a guy that made it big in the last crypto space like myself and you can afford six figures, then hey, buy six figures. That's what it all comes down to. Whatever you can afford. You know, to some of you guys, two billion tokens will change your life. To others, two billion tokens ain't going to do shit. So everything's going to be based on what works for you. Okay. Take my hard work. Take my dedication to the Bull Army and everybody else that supported the project This to this point. Take all their sweat effort, all their hard work, and duplicate it. Make it bigger. Take charge of your own investment. Go out. Conquer. Go out. Do what you need to do. And go out and represent the Bull Army like you never represented the Bull Army ever, ever in your whole entire existence. Don't, don't waste the hours. The days, the months, the years that was put into this project. Don't waste it. Take advantage. Utilize it. Duplicate it. Teach people. Teach them what you learn. Go out and, and, and teach people how to invest, what to buy, what not to buy, what to look forward. Look at the liquidity. Look at the market cap. Look at the utilities. Look at the services. Teach them all the things that you learn because when all is said and done, People like me will vanish away, will no longer be here, and everything will fall on you. You have to decide how you're going to take the next generation of crypto investors, how you're going to take the next generation, your kids, my kids, everybody's kids, how you're going to take them to the next level. As adoption comes in, as BlackRock comes in and conquers crypto, as Bitcoin becomes more centralized because all these big institutions control the supply. As all this happens, you know, it's always going to come down to the people and what we do from here on out. That's all I got for you guys. I wanted to come and celebrate. A big shout out to, to Voltoshi. A big shout out to the Vol Army. And a big shout out to anybody that has been here the whole time and the ones that will be coming in the future. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.